Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you how to build Neville from uh, Thomas and friends, Thomas the Tank Engine. So basically, uh, Neville was uh, Thomas originally found him with like Ari and Bert. Thought he was siding with them. Started spreading rumors. I don't remember too much about the episode. Other than that, I'll have to go and rewatch it. But let's get started on the tutorial. You want to grab out red concrete, place it three blocks above the tracks, make it five blocks wide, add a border on either end with a dark oak trap door in front of it, and open that up. A nether brick fence in the middle with a dark oak fence to the left of it. Dark oak fence gate on the bottom. Then you want to grab out black concrete. Put it in the middle here and make it 22 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, like that. After you do that, you want to skip two blocks of black concrete in the front and add a black concrete underneath that third block, and you want to drag it back to where there's three black concretes left like so make sure there's three so yeah and then to make the wheels you want to grab out polished black stone brick stairs and polished black stone bricks so the first wheel And actually, I just realized something. We have to add these slabs on the bottom first. Just add them underneath of the uh, black concrete here. Like so. Just drag it all the way back to this last black concrete here. And after you're done that, you want to grab out polished blackstone brick stairs. And on this first slab here, add an upside down polished black stone brick stairs. Above it, add two polished black stone brick stairs facing you. And actually, I just made a mistake here. It's the second slab. So just uh, do what I just said, but on the next block, like this. So two polished black stone brick stairs facing up. Add a polished black stone brick stairs on top of those. Add two upside down polished black stone brick stairs to... Uh, here with a polished black stone brick stairs facing up in front of them then you want to add two upside down polished black stone brick stairs and upside down polished black stone brick stairs here and two polished black stone brick stairs facing up and you want to do this on the other side as well like so and 
And after you're done that, you want to add a 2x2 two two polished blackstone bricks in the middle. And this is going to be our bullied wheel design for Neville. Because <clears throat> he has these types of wheels. And Dennis also has them. He'll be the next tutorial, but he has a different design. So you basically want to take this design and skip two blocks each time you do them. So for this, a polished blackstone brick wall, another brick fence, and then you'd start here with these. And you just want to do this two more times. All right, so after you add all of those, you want to come up to the front of the first wheel, add a two by three of black concrete, add a black concrete with a bl polished blackstone brick slab on top of it, and then two polished blackstone brick slabs and a polished blackstone brick stairs then you want to go back to the black concrete in between the second and third wheel you want to take out the two middle blocks on the top and replace them with two black stone, polished blackstone brick stairs facing upward Put black concretes on top of them and drag the black concrete all the way back to the end, like that. And then you want to add the black concrete one more block tall right here where the second wheel starts. go up to the front and add a 2 by 3 in front of the wheels like this then you want to make these first three black concretes three blocks wide grab out polished black stone brick stairs place three in front of the 2x3 of black concrete and three polished black stone brick sl uh, slabs in front of those stairs. On this first block, right after the buffer beam, add two upside down polished black stone brick stairs with a upper slab like that. And then you want to take polished black stone brick slab, add one in front of this black concrete, take out another brick fence and polished black stone brick wall, add another brick fence in front of these first two wheels. <coughs> And then a polished black stone brick wall, and another brick fence, another polished black stone brick wall, and another brick fence. And that's it. You want to do that on the other side, but kind of like reversed, like this. Then you want to grab out black concrete. And right about here, you want to add a three by four, it seems. So one, two, three, four of black concrete. And you want to make it 
two blocks taller, like this. Just fill all of that in. Grab out polished black stone brick slab. Add one on the first block in the middle like this. Skip a block and add two more. On the second block you'll want to add a black concrete for the... Then you want to grab out... Wither skeleton skulls. You want to grab out wither skeleton skulls and place two on either end in the front like this. Then grab out black concrete, add three, four, five, six, seven more black concretes to this. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and just fill all of that in. This is going to be the boiler. Then add black concrete in the uh, bottom just to fill that in. Add three blocks wide of polished black stone brick slabs and drag it back those seven blocks. Leave the middle alone. You actually want to uh, Skip one in the back and add two for the dome. Grab out black stained glass pane. You just want these first four to be the glass pane on the side. It's a little bit hard. like that and then on the fifth block start adding polished blackstone wall all right so you want that to drag through these seven blocks seven blocks long wall After you make this, you want to repeat it on this side, and after you do that, you want to take out black concrete, add about six blocks to this polished black stone brick wall, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you want it to be three blocks tall as well. Add black concrete behind the uh, top slabs. Make sure it's three blocks. Not uh, tall, long. Same thing on this side that you did on the left. And then, you want to add polished black stone brick slabs above that, like so. Not like this though, right here. That's better.
And after that, you want to take black concrete again. Go back here, add a 2x4 of black concrete. with an L shape right here. Fill in these middle three. Do the same thing here. Just make sure it all lines up. Add a polished black stone brick slab to the back of this black concrete. Have it on the upper half of the block. With an upside down polished black stone brick stairs, one facing up above it. And then you just want an upside down one right here for the window. You can't really see it, but at least you have it there. That's what matters. Polished black stone brick slab at the beginning of the cab, three blocks wide. And you want it to stake out a block like this. Make sure it's three blocks thick or in width. And you want to go grab black concrete, not black concrete, black carpet. Add it to the top of the cab here. You can tell that I'm sick, so I apologize if this tutorial is a little bit slow. Grab out dark oak trap doors. Add it above these four blocks. The first four for the boiler, or well, the smoke box, technically. Grab out smooth quartz block with smooth quartz slab. Add a plus shape here at the front, and put slabs on the corners, like so. Then we want to add a bit of the, uh, I guess you could call them finer details. Right here, these back three, you want to break out these blocks. And add two polished black stone brick stairs facing up. Below them, add two polished black stone brick slabs with a dark oak trap door. And then you want to add some dark oak trap doors here it's like a three by three of them and they start right here you want to have all of them opened up or well closed I should say Add them like this up until you get to the cab. And then you want to close all of them up like so. And actually this top one is three facing like this. Grab out polished black stone brick slabs. Add four to the back. Add another four right here. This will be the flooring for the cab. You want to add another dark oak trap doors right here. 
just uh, drag this down or grab out light gray concrete just uh, fill it up like this or if you want to you can even add an interior I'm not going to I don't do that in my tutorials but yeah and then you actually want to go in here <coughs> Just uh, close this off with black concrete so you don't see this whenever you're looking at him. Like so. Then grab out some birch buttons. Add two in the middle two of where the cab is. Right here. Grab out polished blackstone buttons. Add six on these six blocks like this. <coughs> Go up to the... Uh, back add two on these last two blocks right here go up here grab out oak fence gate along with black handles in the front of the cab here you want to add a slab not a block a slab there we go an oak fence gate and two black candles like this And we're actually almost done the engine part, so let's go up to the front. Mangrove button. Add it right here. Black carpets. Covering that up. And then you want to take out, you want to fill in these uh, back blocks real quick with black carpet. Take out stone brick, stairs, slab, and iron trap doors. Go up to the front wheel, this block right here. And add one. Oops, it's facing up. Then in the middle one, add another one like this. And then you also want to do it here as well. And just connect them in the middle with stone brick slabs. iron trap doors on top of the stairs like this and you want to repeat this on the other side and after you're done that you are ready to move on we are ready to move on to the tender so you want to just get rid of this middle trap door very last one down here add an upper polished blackstone brick stairs like this. Add three red concretes to the sides. Well, you want to make it three blocks wide. Then add polished black stone brick stairs upside down. Two of them with a polished black stone brick uh, slab like this.
And do you want it so that this black concrete is about 12 blocks long? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Add 5 red concretes in the back. 5 block wide red concretes. And do you want to fill in the rest of this floor with black concrete as well? After you do that, you want to take black concrete, skip this first block, make it four blocks tall, and just stretch it, make it go back to here, like so. And after you do that, you want to repeat it on this side. After you're done both of those walls, let's go down and do the wheels real quick. So, you want to skip a block and add a red concrete. So you can add an upside down black stone stairs right here. And you want to do that on the other side. Then you want to add each of the wheels, so skip this block. You want to add a 4x4 four four of polished black stone brick stairs right after that. And you just want to skip two blocks for each of the wheels and add them. Skip to and then after you're done that, you want to repeat these wheels on this side. After you're done that, you want to grab out polished blackstone brick blocks. And, uh, skip these first two, and add a 2x3 of polished blackstone bricks, and then add them in the middle here, another 2x3, and then... Ignore these two. You want to add polished black stone brick slabs under these two right here. And that's going to be the base for the, uh, these, which we're going to add right now. You want to have two upside down polished black stone brick stairs facing away from each other slabs underneath of those and then two polished black stone brick walls dark oak trap doors under those two polished black stone brick stairs facing away from each other slabs repeat that again until we get to the back here two upside down slabs underneath and then add a slab with the polished black stone brick stairs facing up like this and you want to repeat this on the other side now you want to take black concrete fill this back part in like so and make it about four blocks longer. One, two, three, four. Like so. Go to the front here. Add two black concretes. Well, skip a block and add two. And then you'll want to grab polished black stone brick wall. Add three black concretes here. 
a black stone slab right here for the coal. Make sure it reaches up to these two black concretes, like so. And then you want to make this like five blocks longer. One, two, three, four, five. Make it two blocks tall. Add a black concrete. And have a post black stone brick stairs so it's facing this way. You want to repeat that on this side. After you do that, you want to go down here. You want to skip this row, add a 2x3 of coal, and then the rest of it to be black concrete, like so. Make sure you uh, add black concretes in the middle here and uh, close them up with these two blocks right here grab out block of coal along with polished black stone brick slabs and black carpet where is the block of coal there it is and then you want to grab out the black carpet just fill in this empty area with block of coal add three polished black stone brick slabs on either ends and on the edges add dark oak trap doors grab out polished black stone brick slab add one right here And also add polished black stone brick slabs to the sides here. After you do that, you want to take out black stained glass pane. Go on these two blocks. And this is going to be his uh, ladder. a black banner cover up these uh, stairs right here polish black stone brick slabs on these three walls with trap doors like that sorry about that little blooper y'all let's just continue this Add black carpet in this front uh, area where the ladders are right here. And then you want to add all the buffer beam detailing that you usually do right here. Alright, after you're done that, there's one small little detail left. Just add another brick fence underneath of there. That red concrete. And that is pretty much Neville's tutorial. Remember, you, uh, you can always request a tutorial in the comments below, but for now, that's about it. See you in the next one.